What's up, peeps? Julian Williams here with The Distance. Video for you guys this evening. This one is R Guillermo Rigondeau. Gets no love. As you can tell by looking at the screen, there is Jersey Joe Walcott and Joe Lewis on the television show The Way It Was. This is from about 40 years ago. So anyway, let's get into the video. And my brother is behind me drinking something I don't know what it is and I'm sure that most of you remember my brother he's all grown up now anyway let's get into the video so Guillermo Rigondeau as mentioned in many publications HBO does not want to air his fights so let me begin the video speaking regarding a story this is a true story at my job, we have a social network where people get together and speak about certain stuff. One of them is a boxing forum. Of course I'm in the boxing forum. And I'm the main participant in the boxing forum because I have to, I have to correct these idiots. And I'm, and I'm serious. They're like, there's people on this social network at work that will just say anything. They will say anything. One man said to me that Manny Pacquiao was a 15-time champion. I said, dude, come here. Let me slap you across the face one good time. Did you actually read that somewhere? Or are you making that up? You know, things of that nature. And I had to defend, you know, a lot of fallacies within boxing. That pe I mean, the thing about it is, of course, you have the media in boxing that runs the show basically and the people believe it so one of so I remember back in April my video on Guillermo Rigondeau and Nonito Donaire I predicted Rigondeau to win a split decision and basically you know what we do before a fight we all put our we all put our predictions in 11 people put Donaire I was the only person that put rigging down. However, these people making predictions, maybe one out of the ten people have seen the Guillermo rigging down fight. Now I've watched all of his fights as a professional and a lot of and a few as an amateur. You know, and the main thing that people were saying regarding this fight, experience. Yeah, Donaire has more professional fights. Yeah. I'm like, and Guillermo Rigondeaux has more amateur fights. So what? Donaire has the experience. And I said, no. Rigondeaux has more experience. No, Donaire has more experience. I mean, it was going back and forth. And then, so the fight happened. Rigondeaux won. And the main argument from these people was, this dude is so boring. I mean, as a fan myself, as a hardcore boxing fan that I am, to this day, that's a statement that I cannot defend against a casual boxing fan. Me personally, I wasn't offended. Me personally, I appreciate the craft. Even if you would rather watch the paint dry, I appreciate the craft of the sport. I appreciate the art, the art form. I appreciate boxing. And I understand that we're casual fans. And what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say in this video is I'm sure that these people over at HBO, these executives, aren't like me. Because, of course, executives are all about ratings. They're all about bringing the casual fans back. Fans like myself and the people that watch YouTube and look at our videos are fans of the sport. The, they're the, we're the fans of the 
mastery, the art form. But the people at HBO are not fans of the art form. There's a, there's an art behind each and every fire. And the art's expressed in the way that they win their fights and how they outpoint fires and how they make adjustments. I can understand why people want to watch Manny Pacquiao fight. He comes to fight. He throws punches. He lands. He gets hit. He'll throw three or four punches back. I understand why people want to watch Gennady Golovkin. Because he knocks opponents out. And, he, and he's always in a position to, to throw punches and he's always there to fight. So the question is, at HBO, why aren't there fans like myself who appreciate the art form? That's something I've always questioned. We're, speak, we're talking about one of the greatest amateur fighters ever. Ever. Hundreds of am, amateur fights. You know, holds, you know, has a championship. You know, a few fights in in the sport. You know, had, had a interim title his first year. Not too many people do that. And the thing is, he, he always wins. Of course, you know, there's there's a fight. There's a couple fights where you see Rigan that had a little bit of trouble, one being the Cordoba fight. However, on the other hand, though, I mean, fighters like Rigan who goes in the fights and he outpoints his opponents and makes them look bad and has them, has them afraid to throw punches, why not air them? Why not air a man who is a master at his craft? But air somebody that's not a master of their craft. Now I understand that blood blood and gut sell. But of course mastery gives you years, gives you numerous years in the sport. For example, Mike McCallum. Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, there's a couple other... Uh, James Tony, He did get hit early in his career, but hey. Here's what it is. I mean, Bernard Hopkins. Men who have mastered their craft that the fans love. And all of these men have been on HBO. So why can't Guillermo Rigondeaux be on HBO? Why not just put him on, you know, maybe a Boxing After Dark or on HBO 2? At least showcase the man. That's just my opinion. It doesn't really piss me off that nobody wants to air a Guillermo Rigondeaux fight. It doesn't necessarily piss me off. It makes me disappointed because as a fan of the sport, if I go onto one of these social networks, if I go on Twitter, if I go on Facebook, I want to emphasize my excitement on seeing a fighter who has mastered his craft dominate an opponent. That's just me. But if we continue to sell blood and guts for fighters who don't last long in the sport or have trouble later in their career, then what does that say about <laughs> the networks? Of course, they're only out for money. Ratings. Bringing the casuals back. So it is what it is. But at the same time, though, I believe that the treatment of fighters, how fighters have been treated through the networks, from the judges, things of that nature, have left a sour taste in a lot of fans' mouth. 
mouse, whether it be whether it be casual or somebody flipping the channel and just seeing it. I mean, how about we just have somebody that knows how to box as a counter puncher, as slick. That right now cannot be decoded. His style is unbeatable right now. So anyway, let's let's air another Matthew Macklin fight and watch him get beat up again. Let's showcase Mickey Ward. Let's see him get hit around the ring. Let's see Arturo Gaddy, God rest his soul, get get slapped around as a punching bag. But let's not but let's not air the guy who's not getting hit. How about we have an int- some intrigue on who could hit him? Who could stop him? But, nah, it's not going to happen. So, the question is, why does Guillermo Rigondeaux not get any love? Is it because he's not a gimmick? Doesn't say much? He's a consummate professional? Because he, because he can dominate his opponents, he can, he wins all of his fights. Don't know. Let me know. I'm out of here. Peace.